promotion. Gambia, Gambia, talent promotion is in support of all the youths and all the talents in this country. Ni regla ti youth bante babi. Ni regla yo ti youth bante babi. At Isa Tuba ti youth bante babi. Hello, welcome back to yet another episode of the Youth Bantaba Show live on Gambian Talent TV, and I am Isa Tukoli. On today's Youth Bantaba Show, I have um, um, an amazing young person who has been playing football all his life, and he also represents the Gambia um, on the under 20 level to Senegal and then to Mauritania and he is currently playing for BK Milan and a lot of people enjoy seeing this league playing football especially in the um, division league one um, of the GFF so I'll just allow him to introduce himself before we start the program proper welcome to the youth Bantaba Wali thank you so much yeah I would love to introduce myself mm. at first I think everybody knows who is this Wali Kofana student over here, you know, mm -hmm. as you know, if, even you don't know me personally by my name, you, you have been added in the Ghanaian football, GFF football league, you know, as you know, many people are, are following now the league and it's going higher and higher, you know, and for me, it's going cool, you know, for me, I think already, Everybody knows who is Wali Fofana. So I don't need to go to deep on that side. I would love to listen to the question, then I will allow to answer many answers. So you can start from there, I think. Thank you. Amazing. And um, you have said that a lot of people know you. Kula Degutsa, Wala Kila Kula Gisutsa Deganala. And Lolo Nekana Lohamnam, a lot of people know Wali of Kohamna Sadegut Wala Gisutla. So go ahead, like the person is playing for BK Milan, and they want to, oh, okay, I'm going to So like, uh, tell us your educational background, for Doris, the primary school, junior school, better um, senior school. Yeah, for me, I think like I told you, many have been following me on that. Mm -hmm. You know, also, you know, it was so, it, it was a journey for me, you know, it was not that bad because, you know, I was having big time support from my father, mm. you know, and I lost him last year. Mm. So mm. I think I should say, I will ask, I should pray for him, you know, already mm. by saying, listen to his daddy, you know. Mm. And, you know, he was supporting me big time on my education, him as my brothers, him as my family, you know. I was an Arabic school student from there. I went to an junior school, telling him from there, also a matriculant school, AP, you know. I graduated at St. Augustine, you know, second school. Mm -hmm. So I think from there, by playing Navetan, from the Navetan to Cardiff's team called a football hero, mm -hmm. I was the player for football hero, you know, I was playing there. From there, I moved to Real de Banyo, you know. I think everybody knows me at Real de Banyo, you know, even though it was a tough journey for me to compete a lot. I was I spent all of my youth career at Real Banyu. Unfortunately, you know, it could not work mm -hmm. on the right track. It was, you know, like what I wished for. But for now, I think from there I moved. I moved to an international food. I spent a little bit four months there. You know, I was having family issues, so I came back to Gambia. You know, mm -hmm. now I'm a big Milan player, and I'm playing for a big Milan first league. Mm -hmm. First Division Gambian Football Federation League. Yeah. Amazing. So what motivated Wally to become the player that he is becoming now? Because we know a lot of eyes are on you. A lot of media has been talking about you. A lot of people has been saying, um, Kida for Moon Football. Lula motivate. Yeah, for me, the words people have been saying, you know, all over around the whole Gambia. Mm. Many be like, yeah, Wally Salah. Many, you know, 
self, you know, before, before even if even when we come in before to start the game, mm. I see I get I see love from people, you know, many been coming like you know, we get picture hammer, stuff like that. For that only for me for me, only that is more than a motivation. Mm. Yeah, because there's nothing that there's nothing like that goal there's nothing more than a goal that that a goal you set for yourself, you know. Right. So when you set the goal that you you wanna reach this goal, mm. I think there's nothing more than a fun for that. So for me, you know, the fans, the loved ones, the family, you know, and my team also, you know, I get the motivation. I I get highest motivation from the team, mm. same as from my family. So I think for me, you know, there's nothing more than a motivation. Nothing more than that. Amazing. Uh, so we have seen Wally also played for the Nawetan teams, the likes of Milan FC, and then went to Football Hero. And also you made mention of you played for Real de Banjun. And how is it like playing for one of the biggest club in the Gambian football league, uh, like Real de Banjun? Yeah, for me, it was normal for me because, you know, Real de Banjun, it's the greatest team in Gambia, football league, you know, and I spent the whole of my career there. Mm -hmm. Even though it was a difficult journey for me there, you know, to have much time to show out who I am before, you know. But though I was so, I was so young, mm -hmm. and I was playing likes of Alajiba, you can have likes of Steve, mm -hmm. yeah. So, you know, it was, it was, but it, it, it's normal for me, and it's something that you know I have already passed. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to be like think think about Real de Banjo anymore mm -hmm. because I have already passed that level. So for now I'm a Bikemian player and a proud Bikemian player for now. Mm -hmm. So I think for me I'm okay and I'm happy to be part of Bikemian. So and the team, you know, they all love me. You know, when they come to Baka with the fans, they appreciate me. Right. Bikemian, the team, the coaches, you know. President of the team, you know, the CEO, Osman Drame, known as Cho, you mm. know, they always motivate me, mm -hmm. you know, at, you know. So a lot of me, things. Yeah, me, Amazing. Kind of uh, we've also heard in scenarios, we are asked, uh, a lot of people said that Gambian football um, clubs do normally frustrate their players to an extent they end up leaving the team to go to another team. What's your reactions to that? Yeah, you know, in football, it's at everywhere. You know, you went to, you might think here is the best club for you, mm. while it's not. Yeah. So, when so ever you feel that you in this team, you know, you not, you not, the, you not, you you don't have the chance to show up who are you. I think to move to another club to show who are you, to show the whole nation that you are the best or you can do better than being other team that you know you, you could not have that time to play mm -hmm. so i think for me as a footballer you need that strong mentality that you know to motivate yourself mm -hmm. to be the person who are you mm -hmm. that you set a goal even though the obstacles can be you know on your way right. you know by either either by easy or difficult but you just need to face that task you know, know that there's ahead of you even too, mm -hmm. so everywhere, so ever you went, and you will go to. So, I think that's normal for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think the players also need to took that responsibility, that, that mental. They need to be strong mentally, you know, to have that belief. Mm -hmm. Like look, look at all us there, where you should be Yeah. So, I think for me it's normal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, say, Tamid. Um, you know, you have made mention of playing for Generation Foot which is also one of the biggest teams in Senegal. So um, what's the difference between the Senegalese league and the Gambian league? No, the Senegalese league is like, for me, I, I, did, not, I, did, not, I did not experience a lot in the league mm -hmm. there because I could not have time to play mm -hmm. much more in Senegalese league, even to play a league game there. Because mm -hmm. I went there for a trial and they took me they keep me there. I was there for four months, mm -hmm. you know. So I could not play the preparation before the end of the preparation for me. Mm -hmm. Then I have a family issue. So I came back home. 
So I could not experience a lot in the Senegal place. But I understand a little bit that you know there's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. But for us in Gambia, we think, you know, we have much more better players than even Senegal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and many be seeing that. And for me there are no doubt we have a lot of talent mm -hmm. and we can do better at any level. So if I could even stay there I would have to play and I will show people who I am. Mm -hmm. So I think it's all the same to come back to your home nation and try to push your nation as well to represent your nation as well as you represent your team, you know. So we we all under Gambia, so mm -hmm. I think that's amazing coming from a young league like um, you because we've seen the, the on the 20 that went to Mauritania and Senegal we have a lot of amazing players out there with a lot of talents and uh, we have seen you guys compete against teams that are more um, powerful than you guys but then the strength and teamwork was there so I think it's it's also important and um, since you have started playing football how is it like, um, you know, going up and down, struggling? Where are you having family support from family, friends, and close relatives? Yeah, for that matter, you know, for me, the love and the support I get from my parents, mm. I think is the best motivation for me. Because who knows my father, you know, mm -hmm. He's a football lover before yeah. uh, he supports Manchester United. And he always told me that, you know, whenever you got the belief that you can do this, you're going to be the best. And I always told him that, you know, <laughs> I can do better in the field. Mm -hmm. So, same as my mother, though she did not know much about football, football. she did not understand a lot. Mm. But she know that, you know, I'm a football player, you know. and. They did not disturb me. They never disturb me. When so ever I have to go to training, when so ever I need to play the games, you know, same as to my stepmother. Mm -hmm. You know, they all pray for me to be that high level. You know, so I think that support only is more than you know motivation. Mm -hmm. you know, so talking to friends and family and the loved ones, and you can see there there there's a lot of fans, mm -hmm. you know, supporting me all over. You know, so I think. You know, I get the motivation that I need from the fans, mm -hmm. the family, the loved ones. So I myself, I need to motivate myself much more to do much better. You know. mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, what are some of the challenges you came across getting to where you are as a young player? Yeah, obviously it was like, it was tough. Mm -hmm. And another way around, like I told you, I spent all of my career in the biggest club in Gambia, the mm -hmm. I could not have that much time to play. Mm -hmm. you know, when I think of that sometimes, you know, it's like, wow, well, I was not in the right track. Yeah, maybe also, I was not having the luck, you know. Mm -hmm. But, you know, as now, you know, I struggle all that, you know, difficulties, I face everything, the experiences I, I had, a lot of things, a lot of talk, a lot of, you know, you know, negative vibes against me, mm -hmm. you know, people be like, ah, don't be serious with mm -hmm. definitely. But I was so mentally strong, yeah, because I motivate myself, mm -hmm. you know, because this is what I want to do, and I can do this better. Whensoever I got the chance, a single minute chance, I will show out who I am, mm -hmm. you know, because I always have the belief that I can do better. Mm -hmm. I can be the best player that I wanted, and to show out people who I am. Mm -hmm. So, whenever I got the opportunity, I will show out. So, I never stop from training. I never relax, you know. I keep playing football, I keep balling, I keep praying until today. So, the difficulties have been passed, you know. Maybe there's more ahead, mm -hmm. but it all came from Allah, you know. I will be praying to Almighty Allah to make everything easier for me, you know, as the journey just begins. Mm -hmm. So, I think I'm ready to face all the difficulties and the tests ahead for me. Amazing. So uh, we have also seen people say that Wali the farm attitude hanga Wali uh, attitude and remote of football and with them can munna football munna the moment but then he has attitude. What's your reaction to that? Yeah. A lot of people say that. Yeah. I know you had a lot of yeah, things. Yeah. 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 There's, there's even people, you know, called me, tell me, telling me that job, 
coaching you to add it to don't play football. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, I for me I think it all part. Okay. But who knows me, you know, personally, you would be like, yo, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I know by myself, you know, those no matter moments, mm -hmm. you know. I wanted to see my team, my family, my my, my, my coin, you know, everybody happy. Mm -hmm. So when I play when I'm playing against a rival team, you know, no matter those moments like of playing against Medina Bradford and yeah. stuff like so that those teams, you know, sometimes I, I try to provoke the players, the team, you know, just to get that win from them, mm. you know, just to make my people happy. Mm -hmm. But it was not an even bad intention or to do any other thing that may this affect me in my football career. Because if you see since I start playing the league, Gambian League, mm -hmm. you will never have that yo, they mm -hmm. for a red card. No. Mm -hmm. Even yellow card is some problem. So I think for me, you know, those vibes I was hearing, you know, before, mm -hmm. you know, for me I took all that as a motivation. You know, you know, I need to prove out, I need to do good, I mm -hmm. need to be my best, you know, so that people be like, yo, it's different of a change that you can mm. and since you know you came from the Afghan, yeah i think people have seen that different yeah so the thing the, the wonderful fun that they had in before and now, and now it's, it's different, different so, you know. amazing yeah. I love the you, Ali Hoffman, that I am seeing now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now that Gambian football lovers have loved so much about seeing you playing football, and now we have seen your team is struggling to be where they are. We know the Division League won the second, the second round is about to commence. So, um, and then how many goals have you scored for BK Milan so far? Four. Four. And what's the position of BK Milan? Yeah. Amazing. So, uh, what are we expecting to see from Wadi during this second round? Yeah, for me, I think, you know, every league games, either by first round, second round, mm. you know, I took, I, took, I took personal responsibility, you know, when you come in time of to push big game and forward, mm -hmm. you know, also, I try to work with the team to push the you know, team on the on, on into the high level mm -hmm. because if you see you know the, the, those moments those 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 years last two three years I spent for BK Milan mm -hmm. you know I was trying to assist the team to get even you know we were not you know targeting the league but you know we never been in the relegation zone mm -hmm. so if you see this season kind of difficult, you know, we in 10 position that, you know, a lot of Gambian people been saying, yo, BK Milan in the play, what in your neck at that position? Mm. They, they has to be competing to get the league because they have, you know, a lot of amazing stars players, young stars players, young talented players, mm -hmm. you know. If you see the team likes of, you know, Buba Jame, he's a super quality player. Also, Shima Kurubali, the defender, when you come to goalkeeper, we have Alaji. Saho, the national team goalkeeper, you know. So we have a lot of talent there, you know, the young stars like Demba Jalo, the brother of Ablai Jamano, also mm. Alassane Fai, a midfielder, you know, quality midfielder. So if you see BK Milan playing, whenever you never watch our games, you come and see BK Milan play, you will be like, yo, he then not worry, compete for a league. Mm. Because we have the quality, we have a lot of talent there. So even though it's difficult for us, Right now, mm -hmm. I think the first uh, first round has gone, so the second round is coming. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to get the mental preparation, even though there are some changes, changes, you know, change of coach, so sure. you know, which is not concern, it's my concern for me. Mm -hmm. Any any coach can, you know, yeah, you have to work with, with him, yeah, you know, just to achieve the level, the goals that he need mm -hmm. to be set for. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, every league, the main league teams right now. They, they will be getting much prepared for us mm -hmm. because they've been watching our game, seeing how we play. We lost a lot of games in first round that we did not have to, you know, because, you know, we play a lot of, you know, we play much better than those games, you know, we lost, we draw. So the games we got to win, you know, at the end, you know, we could, we, 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 we are not in the relegation zone. Mm -hmm. but, and I think we can be on the relegation zone. Right. We got it. 
you, you get to stay out there because we, we have the quality to move from there to see ourselves in a top level, top five, four, or even three. You know? mm. So for me, I'm ready to assist the team. Yeah. So uh, when you came to BK Milan, were you signed contract? Were you giving a contract? Yeah. How, how, an, how many years? I have a valid contract at BK Milan. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. So are you being paid? Yeah. Because, like, because a, a, a lot of times yeah, we have yeah. we, we had players saying amongst the team we were in Madefe Harris, you know, yeah, I'm just happened, going and coming. It's happening, yeah. you know, a lot of players have been saying that, you know, ah, we then they play football for our life, our career. Yeah. But, you know, not for money. Mm -hmm. We play football for money in a sense way. Yeah. If, like, Gambian level is not that level that you need to receive the salary from the team, mm -hmm. but, you know, even to ever you get in the small thing there, I think, you know, that little money you get in from the team, you know, it sometimes motivates you. Right. Like when you go get home, you tell your mother that, you know, I get this from my club, you know. Okay, there's balance for you. Father, there's balance for your stepmother, brothers, you know, family. You know, I think those prayers, those motivation, you know, you need it from the clubs. And the clubs also need to assist the players. You know, because Gambia, when you look at the teams, you know, we have a lot of talent in government. Right, players. that is so, so true. Youth level to up to top level, mm. you know, up to senior national team. So we have all the quality. But for me, you know, BK Milan, I got the best CEO, who is this man, Joe Bryan, mm. you know, a national team manager. Right. You know, he support me any, any, anyhow when it come to his football. So for me, I couldn't even tell you how, you know, he do for me, mm -hmm. talk less of salary. For me, that's cool with me. A lot of people say that Cho, Cho, Cho has been so supportive of Gambian young football players, not even in BK Milan, but outside BK Milan. So I think that's a very good gesture from him. Yeah. Now let's talk about you representing, you being selected to represent Gambia in Senegal. And that's the Wafu under 20 tournament and also the AFCON under 20 tournament which was held in Mauritania so um, how was it like like um, at first to represent your country we are in the red white blue white jersey in a major tournament like the WAFU first for me it was best ever for me goals I set for my mm. football career Amazing. start from there the youth level so for me you know it was tough because you know that's what I play football for. Mm -hmm. You know, something like you know, last season I was working harder, you know, because I had that, you know, the selections are coming. Mm -hmm. So I told myself that yo, I'm gonna be there. And you know, a lot of people who knows me, they know that if I should stay here, I'm competing in the league. Every selection of Gambia, I'm be part of it. Mm -hmm. Because you know, when you come when you come when you come to the challenge, you know, mashallah. For me, it's a gift, natural gift from Almighty Allah. Who knows me since I was young? I was too young. But, you know, to represent your nation, I think it's best ever, you know, you start to play football. For. And that, for me, it's just, and it was cool with me. I went with the team at Wabu, Zunte, and Senegal, you know, qualified from there to Afcon, to Mauritania. I could not play because I was injured. You know, it was not bad for me. Yeah, it was not bad because I was injured, even though the coach had to believe that, yo, he's injured, but we're going to take him to the tournament. So I was with them. I was with the team. I trained with them. I could not make it even a single game. But, you know, yeah, so because you see me in the bench, sometimes I even get one more. A lot of your fans, we are complaining, Matang, which was, was not playing Wally, but a lot of them also do not know what was the actual um problem so they were like ah the for you will leave with a quiet neck on the play especially those from talending yeah. everyone was complaining like mataro needs to give wali the chance to showcase what he got and uh you did that during the mauritania uh when you when you guys went to mauritania yeah. yes so um wali stomped the nation with his magical performance during the under 20 afcon competition and you have also been named in other countries giving honorable mentions how was it like how does it feel yeah it was it was it was so cool i was so glad you know 
Like I told you, the reputation of your nation, there's nothing more than that, you know, the football career. Mm -hmm. You know, the most best moment that the reputation of your nation, right. you know, as a young player, you know, starting your career, you know, at the age of 18, mm -hmm. you know, about to turn to 19. So it was so cool with me. And, you know, I was, I was, I was like, yo, whenever I try to represent my nation, mm -hmm. I will try to fight, work for my nation. Amazing. You know, because I will make thousands of people smile. Mm -hmm. I will make thousands of people happy. Someday, obviously, you know, it's going to face back. So, like, they say, hard work face back. Right. So, it was for me, for me, it was, you know, it was best. You know, I was trying to, you know, I was given chance by the coach, like you just mentioned, Madame Bush. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, I, I, I couldn't say, I, I can't say he's the best coach in mm -hmm. Gambia, but, you know, among the best, mm -hmm. because, you know, He's so positive, you know, and he encouraged me, he motivated me so much. Since I was in jail, I could not have time to play. Up to, you know, we moved to Motenia, he gave me a chance to show out who I am. Mm -hmm. And to show people why, you know, he selected me when I was in jail. So, um, I think I was trying to show out, but even though, you know, I was having a lot of playing time in right. Senegal, you know, so. You know, I could not play much more games, mm -hmm. but you know, at the end, I saw out a little bit that I can try to assist the nation and you know to achieve our positive results. And thank Allah, you know, we came out with bronze medal, even though we failed to get that, you know, gold and silver. So, I think it's enough positive. You know, the Gambians love our results we came with and they appreciate it. It was so good. Mm -hmm. so, I'm happy for that. Amazing. Uh, when you went to the um, AFCON competition in Mauritania, and then Wally started playing, Wally started showing um, his true identity to Gambian people. And then people started wondering, people started asking, where is this snake from? I can remember, like, I'll be bluffing and say he's from Talining because this is where this, this is where he is from. So how is it like representing Talining, representing your father, you know, representing your mother, representing the people of Talining to Afcon? Yeah, yeah, like I see it here, you know, it was a big, big, big thing for me. Mm. You know, because every football player, you know, young player, take it that level, you know, amongst of thousand players, you know you selected, you know, to represent your nation. I think that trust only, you know, it can give you that the motivation that, you know, you need to play for yeah. your nation, you need to work for your nation, you need mm -hmm. to do good, you know, just to see your nation, you know, to raise the flag higher. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. you know, yeah, uh, it was so amazing, it was so cool, you know, to represent your nation, uh, you know, it motivates you to be, to feel that, you know, you on the right track, you know, to be that you know player that who can be that pro top professional level mm -hmm. player. So I think for me, you know, that was best for me. And my people, home people, Talining people, you know, they they all proud, you know, you know, to see me participating, representing Gambia, mm -hmm. you know, also the main talent that likes of Lamarana Jalo also playing. Yeah, I was about to come know. there. From Talinin too. Right. So the Talinin people, I think, you know, we're winning. Yeah, we're winning. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And uh, we have seen uh, when you were selected, you were selected together with other young talents from different um, divisions. You have the, the, the likes of Ramaraj and Jalo playing for Elite FC United, rather. You have also uh, Momodu Bojang who was then playing for Brikama United, now in Portugal. We have seen also Kajali Drame playing for Real de Banjun. We have seen other young, amazing players. How was it like seeing other talents being with you and the same thing, fighting for one thing? Yeah, uh, the starting of the selection, mm. uh, the very first day of the selection, when I had the news that you know, they have selected me in the national league and I view the list, I see a lot of talents, amount of 40 players, right. out of 1,000 players. So 
you know, only for that, you know, it was, it was something that, you know, I was, I was saying to myself that, you know, out of thousands, I'm in the 40. Mm -hmm. So even if it's going to be out of one, I will be the one. So, you know, there are a lot of players, you know, came in, selected, you know, likes of Keba Mane, you know, he's right. in Ports, Ports. Ports number 10 player, you know. He's, he's he also the, doing he, amazing. He's he also there. Mm. He was also likes of, you know, a lot of good players, you know. Even. So there are a lot of good players, you know. We were struggling. We all we all trying to fight. Everyone, every player there, you know, what you're looking for to, to secure the place for yourself. Mm. Also, you wanted to fight for the nation. So we all were looking on one thing. So I think at the end, you know, I end up surviving, mm. you know, seeing myself in the, in the league, in the team, at anywhere we went to. So it was so cool. So, you know, so respectful for me, you know, that I have achieved what I set for. So I was, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for that. And when you see likes of Mauro Bojang, you know, we fight, we try to fight for the nation. Mm. He's at that, you know, Portuguese team called Buddhist. Names of Lamarana, Lamarana Jalo, Kajali Drame, a lot of talent there. Babas is even so. Yeah, Babas is a lot of talent in the team there, you know. Also, you know, those are those who are not even selected there, a lot of right. talent there. So, you know, the unlucky people, the unlucky ones also, you know, they are all like they are all talented, even though they could not make it better. But, you know, we were all looking for one thing and at the end, you know, those who survive like us, mm. you know, we thank you for him. So I think for me, you know, I'm so thankful for that. Amazing. Just to remind you viewers that you are still watching the Youth Bantaba show on Gambian Talent TV and my guest today is none other than the magician. That's what a lot of people call him, like the magician, the star player. That is uh, Wally Banega uh, Pofana. Uh, Wally, so um, we have seen the appointment of Honorable Bakari Baji since he was um, appointed by the president. Um, a lot of things has changed in the Gambia Football Federation system. The way they, they, they were grooming their footballers and now it's different. How do you see his appointment and his performance so far? Yeah, he's, I think he's really doing good. You know, Gambian football, you know, like I, I, like I said before, we have, we have thousands of talent, mm -hmm. you know, starting from the grassroots up to the senior level team. So we have a lot of talent there, you know. So as you know, we all know Gambia, we are finally qualified for the first time of AFCON, mm -hmm. you know, senior AFCON. Right. So coming in Cameroon. So I think, you know, he's doing good, mm -hmm. you know. So we, we Gambians, we need to support him better. And, you know, also we need to, we players, you know, we, we, we need all the motivation from, you know, them also, you know, so I think to push each other just to see Gambia football to the high level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he's really doing And it. what do you think he needs to adjust on to help young young players like you and others? Yeah, for me, you know, I, I think, you know, on that side, you know, I could not say that much. much. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, what I'm interested for in football, I always say to myself, I just want to play football, I just want to be there, I just want to be best. Mm. So I need to train, I need to work hard, mm -hmm. and someday I will be there. So I think, you know, likes of him, they're trying to encourage us. Even when we went for the AFCON, they are with us, at any, any, anywhere we went to. So for that, you know, when you, when you turn around, you see your people, you know. You, you feel happy. You, know, so you feel that, like you want yeah, to do more. So Amazing. More than motivation. Mm -hmm. And uh, how did you see the Gambia Football Federation under the leadership of Lamin Kababaja as well? Yeah, Kaba, I think I need to thank him very so much mm -hmm. for the first time we qualified for the AFCON. And he's the lucky guy, mm -hmm. the, the president of GFF. And you know, he knows me personally because he, he, he told me personally that, yo, well, he said, look, He's a footballer player, he's a kind of professional, just mm. concentrate there. Right. And you know, he's with Manika to me because he know that I'm a Manika. Right. But I think, you know, likes of Kaba, you know, they're doing good, you know. Mm. We need to, you know, we all Gambians need to be positive with them, you know, you know, to see how to push things better, rather than being negative, you know. So 
for me, I think he's doing good as well. Yeah. I think a, a lot of people will always say this to you. You need to focus, you need to be concentrating in order to be um, the likes of Steve Tarawale. If, in fact, we want you to be bigger than Steve Tarawale. Everyone wants you to be bigger than Steve Tarawale. You're so long ago. Good. So, inshallah, it will happen. So, um, how, where are you seeing yourself from now? Um, where where yeah, did you yeah, see yourself yeah, yeah, in yeah. few years to come? Yeah, like for now, you know, I think every football player, you know, you you take it some some you take it level that you know you wanted to see yourself. Right, that's true. By, by step, step by step, you know. And for me, you know, I'm trying I'm 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 trying my best. I'm trying to work hard to see myself, you know, to next 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 level different from Ghanaian football league. Because mm -hmm. I have an interest to play abroad to show out the whole world that who I am. So I think I, 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 I need to see myself, you know, you know, abroad doing good, mm -hmm. showing, you know, the whole world who I am. So I think every player, you know, that you wish yourself for. Right. So to be that top level you know, also to represent your nation, senior national team mm -hmm. someday. So I think that I wish, that I'm seeing myself, you know, and that I wish for myself. Also, I wish a lot of young talent, likes of, you know, those I mentioned, where, you know, mm -hmm. and those I even not even mentioned. So I, I think I wish everybody good luck as well. Amazing. So uh, do you think that the future is bright for um, young talents like you and others? in the Gambian football league. Yeah, without league. a doubt, without mm -hmm. a doubt. You know, like, you know, we see it, Gambian football, you know, come with a lot of motivation, mm -hmm. you know. Not we don't have the motivation from those who are there. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, you know, when, when so ever, you know, the moment comes that, mm -hmm. you know, things has to be happen, mm -hmm. you know, like they said, everything happens the, on the right time, you know. Like, you know, I graduate, graduated at St. Saint Augustine. Right. Our, 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 our St. Augustine, you know, we should do the right thing at the right time. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. So I think every, every moment, you know, whensoever the time came, you know, it will happen. So likes of, you know, Omar Baj, you know, one of my friends, you know, he's playing in Gantel. Mm -hmm. Likes of Khalifa Mane, he's playing in Gantel. They are all young players, you know, who can do better, mm -hmm. you know, even they did not select it in the U20, but you know, there's a lot of young players that, you know, you can you can see, yo, Kimuna is a professional. A lot of people in Gambian football, even even the ones are not playing. Even in the third division, when you look, when you watch the games, you know, you will be like, Gambian, we have talent. Mm -hmm. So I think there's no doubt that, you know, we can be the professional that we wish ourselves for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if Allah will. Inshallah. Um, before we take leave of you, I have two questions from uh, one of your fans and the first one is um, what is the biggest secret to your success yeah the big, biggest secret to my success that I wish every football player you know that are in, that, uh, that are that are those are in front of me right, right. now likes of Musa Baro mm -hmm. likes of one of my friends Pude Mane mm. he's playing in Denmark League you know, Denmark right now, he was in Real Dabani. Mm -hmm. So likes of Amur Sona, you know, those people, you know, I was with them with the same group. So whensoever you leave, you move to next step, you know, look, whensoever I'm praying, I wish you a good luck. Right. Because I have the belief someday I will be there. Inshallah. So I think there's no secret that I should even hide. For me, that's my secret even. So it keeps me moving. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And the second question says, what are you hoping to achieve this season? This season, first of all, you know, I want to see BK Milan on that top four, you know, from the 10 to the top four. Mm. I think that's the number one. Number two, you know, I could not say that I'm the best player in the league, mm. you know, but people been saying, yeah, Wally, he's the best player in the league. Mm. And I got that belief that I can be the best player. So I think I need to go back to the ground to work harder, you know, talk less, do more. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, I want to fight, you know, to 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 to, to part of the you know the goals the goal scoring, you know, 
you know, the good leading goal scorers in the tournament. I, you know, when I see the list, you know, I, I will be like, yo, I'm a very small boy to be there. So I think, you know, those three things mm. are it, it is, yeah, things. Those three things are the thing that you know I was I was looking, I, I wanted to you know, achieve on the season. So are we going to see a new Wally uh, next season, and are we? Um, uh, Will we be hearing good news soon with regards to whether Wally will be having a team outside or what? What is the next step? Yeah, I think, you know, by the grace of Almighty Allah, mm. that will be happen because Inshallah. Yeah, just, you know, I want to be that professional player. Mm. I want to be there. So I wanted to live from here to be that level. So I think starting from today, I set that goal. And there's nothing more than you know, you set in your own goal. Mm. There's, not, there's nothing more than that, you know. So, I think, you know, there's no need, you know, people will say, yo, you're going to see different ones. Whenever you watch me, you're going to enjoy me. And, you know, I'm trying to do, I'm trying to work hard to do, you know, that and to be on that level. So, I think, you know, I wish myself very good luck, you know, starting from now to next season. You know, so, I think, I also want to see myself on that high level. So I think, you know, with the help of my team, uh, Almighty Allah, it can happen. And surely, you know, it will happen, inshallah. Amazing. So what's going to be Wally's final message on the show to his uh, fellow young people out there who are playing football and also hoping to become stars like the likes of Steve Tarawale, the likes of Zico, the likes of Oz Jalo, the likes of... Um, Musa Baro, you know. So, what's going to be your advice to those people? Yeah, for me, the single advice it has to be yo. It has to be yo. Look, yo. We, we have a lot of talent in Ghanaian football. They say we have a lot of talent. Mm -hmm. Okay, those talent, we need to show out our talent, you know. So, for me, hard working, it all depends on hard working because there are things that they say, you know. Sometimes you may not look it, mm. but you know, Allah always has best for you. So I think when you work hard, things sometimes, even if it may come on the right time, you wish for, it may come lately, mm. but it will come whenever you work for. Because you know, you, whenever you feel that you can do this, you try, you keep on working, you keep, you keep on trying, someday you will be successful. Mm. So my advice for young players, you know, like of, you know, I named some, mm -hmm. you know, but I, my, my only advice is going to be, you know, we need to be motivating ourselves, keep playing, you know, adjust our concentration, mm -hmm. keep playing, keep playing, keep training, keep working hard, you know, stay positive, you know, you know, surely someday, and also someday, you know, we, bo we all can be, you know, the top player, mm -hmm. you know, to move our country, to push our country. To higher level, mm -hmm. so I think you know to thank you so also you know as you do a great job that you know you know I'm here with you. Maybe another time it's gonna be another passion, right. you know, just to motivate the players likes of this we need in our country. I think you know it's something that we players you know it boosts you up. You mm -hmm. know you feel that yo now I'm feeling who I am, mm -hmm. so I need to do more. Right. You know to be another level. You know different from this one. So I need to thank you also, you know, you know, just to tell the players, the football team, the teams, you know, you know, to keep motivating the young players. Mm -hmm. So I think we have a lot of talent. So I keep repeating that. So the talents also we need to show out mm -hmm. by working hard. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think that's my that advice. Is Amazing. The talents also need to showcase their talent out there. Needs to be focused. You have to go out there um, in full force. Do your thing. This is all what it, um, it, it, it entails. Um, if you motivate yourself, if you believe in yourself, there is no way you, you, you won't succeed. So, uh, Mekhe Wildeshan is signing. Uh, this is the Yud Bantaba show with me today. I have the Mac. Um, the magician, um, a lot of people will call him, uh, Wally Fofana, who represents the Gambia in uh, Senegal. That was the Wafu competition, and then to um, Mauritania and um, 
that was the AFCON competition where he stumped the nation with his amazing and brilliant performance. Uh, so uh, he also played for BK Milan and uh, normally now the stadium is always full when Wally Banega is playing. You will have his fans coming all the way from Brikama, Talinden, Tawakota to come and support this league. Uh, that is all um, it entails, that is all what it takes to be a star. And Wally, inshallah, I know you definitely be a star. You make a lot of people proud. So until I come you in your way next week with another amazing young person in this country. We just had our interview with Wally Fofana and now we are at where they normally do their practice, that is the training. And uh, I am with the CEO, which is uh, Usman Chodrame. And uh, tell us who Usman Cho is first of all. Um, Usman Chodrame is uh, Chief Executive Officer for BK Milan Football Club and Technical Director. Chief Executive and Technical Director. Amazing. So uh, we've come and then we, we did have some discussions with Wally, which he says that you are one of the key uh, motivators that kept him going. Um, how is it? And what speciality was in Wally that you did see and then you bring him to BK Milan? No, I, I think uh, as a Chief Executive, as well as uh, in my capacity as Technical Director, Talent spotting is uh, number one because we are playing at a very difficult level, that is uh, League One. You play against the elite, so you have to try to get the best players to be able to contain them, to be able to compete at that level. So uh, you always have to get that at the back of your mind, to be able to you know, get the right players at the right time you know, to put together a good team. So our recruitment was perfect in the last one or two years. We got the right players, we got some quality players, you know, and yeah, we are happy. So, what can you tell us about Wally Fofana? I think uh, Wally, for me, is a wizard. <laughs> He's uh, a diminutive uh, player, you know, both as a winger and as, you know, a number 10 also. We've uh, seen him uh, recently, you know, play fantastic football, both, you know, at club level and, you know, national team level with the national U20 team recently from uh, Mauritania uh, you know, so you know a player you know in his caliber is you know amazing it's it's you know it's it's he's an asset so it's always amazing to have a play, player like Wally you know it makes things easier for the coach you know he can help the team and we are happy he's doing that at the moment so uh, now that Wally did represent the country, which was the under 20 youth level to Senegal, which um, he did not have that much playing time that people need to see of Wally. But then uh, we have seen recently when he uh, represented the Gambia to Mauritania, he stopped the nation. Everyone was talking about Wally. How, how does it feel seeing your own player going out there, um, showing what he got in him? You yeah, know, we are we are always optimistic, and we know that um, we 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 put together a very good team. We know, okay, Wally is the one that is right now in the limelight. But we've got several players like that, you know, at his level, and you know, we are happy to, to to have them all, you know, in our club. It's always, you know, very nice when you switch on your TV, you know, you see national team games and, you know, you happen to have a player that you recruited that, you know, play, that is uh, who is playing for your club. It's amazing. It's an amazing feeling and, you know, you want to see that more often, you know, quite, you know, often than not. And, you know, we, we really, you know, rejoice in the fact that, you know, we're enjoying that at the moment. You know, we have Wali, we in, uh, previously had, uh, you know, club captain, Modu Cham, who is now, you know, trying but, you, know, uh, you know, in a club, you know, in Spain, we've had, uh, you know, quite a few of them. We are hoping that, you know, would, you know, give us some some good performances as well. Amazing. We've also seen the BK Milan playing for the League One in the GFF uh, club competitions. And um, how is it like also competing with other clubs, big big clubs in the country, like uh, the likes of um, Real de Banjo, the likes of Hawks, Wally, Dan, you know. Yeah, no, because uh, you, you got to be uh, honest to yourself because we all knew and um, we all know that um, the big clubs have the resources, the necessary resources needed to put together a strong team. We know Real, you know, has a lot of uh, potential in that uh, aspect. You know, the institutional team, sports, armed forces, British, you know, kind of clubs, Gantel, these are clubs that are, you know, 
administratively very strong. Mm -hmm. And you know, in football, you need to get the right finances, you need to get the right uh, things, you know, to be able to, to to put together a good team. So we didn't have this, but then you know, we are uh, we are more focused on the technical aspect of things. We are able to analyze players, you know, to try to see which of the players probably we can get at that level who can give us the maximum, you know, performance that can march, you know, the, the, the elite and this is this is why we are we are we are where we are. So to be honest we do not have the money like the, the big clubs. But then, you know, we can we have a step or two in terms of technicalities that we can fish out, you know, very good talents that we can also produce at that level, you know, to, to, to compete. And you know, it's working well for us at the moment, so we are happy. Amazing. Uh, we also know that the welfare of this uh, football uh, footballers or players has been a great concern to a lot of people because normally you will uh, hear someone has been injured, but then he has not been taken care of. So. What are the mechanisms put in place for, you know, players of BK Milan with regards to when they are injured or they need some medical treatment and stuff? No, no, I, I think as a professional, I, you know, these are, for me, these are, you know, the basic requirements, you know, for me, it doesn't matter if you pay a player five, ten thousand dollars. For me, what is more important is to create the enabling environment, you know, the enabling environment meaning you have to get quality balls, you have to get quality coaches, you have to get quality you have to get, you know, a good medical team, you have to get some stuff in place, and you have to get a medical team to train at least for, you know, the Gambian level we find so we got two people you can you can you can see them during matches. So, you know, and also we are surrounded by a lot of medical facilities, we have health centers, we have hospitals, we have doctors that we can talk to So our players are not left alone, they have injuries, we try to go So you know that also derailed the process of uh, the, the progress of the, the team in terms of uh, you know putting up a respectable performance or winning games. But then we have to leave it in the last game was better because most of them were recovering, so it was true. Amazing. So um, what has VK Milan has in store for Wali Kofana? <laughs> I think that question should come the other way around. What did Wali have? <laughs> no. But okay. Um, yeah. Uh, Right now, uh, to be honest, uh, there is a lot of interest from uh, overseas clubs and agents regarding Wali. So we are talking to them. We will see by the end of the season or even before the end of the season or next season, who knows when the time is right. The right you want to hear good out. news? <laughs> For now, it's looking positive, but nothing is confirmed, nothing is uh, you know, agreed. So we, 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 all what we can say is it is looking good. And we hope that uh, you know he he gets out of uh, you know the Gambian league as soon as possible to go professional because this helps his career and this helps the club also to recover a little bit in terms of finance uh, finances. But this is also very good for the country to help to to, to, to expand our player pool because it means we we'll have you know more players playing in international uh, leagues. So. So uh, we we also know that you are the team manager for the national team um, yep. squad. Um, what are some of the challenges that are f you guys are facing as a team? Which of the teams, sorry? Uh, now let's, let's talk about in general perspective here, about okay. when it comes to um, challenges that teams face normally in the Gambia. There are a few challenges that are, that are common, but there are a few that are also, you know, very different. So, but the general problem in, in, in terms of, uh, you know, putting up a good team in Gambia is from national team level to clubs, I think it's all done to adequate uh, financial support. We know the government is trying, you know, they're putting exorbitant amount of funds, you know, recently especially for the national team. We can only be thankful to them. You've seen now the national team has, you know, um, uh, gra graduated from using uh, scheduled flights, but now using, uh, you know, a charter flight. But this is very, very key in terms of preparation and planning. This helps in the recovery process of players. So that is one good thing that the government has done. And, you know, there is uh, also swift payment of uh, allowances, match bonuses and this, you know, improvement in terms of hotel accommodation and other stuff like this. So for me, the government has done much, but 
in terms of the demand, you know, in, in, in football, it's still not enough. So there is more, you know, support needed. And, you know, hopefully it will come because it's a gradual process. So we will get there one day. So it's, it's, it's a general problem. We do not have adequate funding, you know, both at national level and, and also for some of us that are club owners. So, but we like to improvise or we manage what we have and it's, it's looking good. Amazing. We, we, we actually don't want to keep you along. So uh, what's going to be your final message to Wally Fofuner and the rest of his team and also young people out there who are, um, who are aiming or wanting to become stars like, you know, the likes of Steve Tarawale, Ibrahim Asahna, just to name a few. I think it's just hard work, commitment and take good advice because I see a lot of us, uh, you know, follow football and, you know, it's sad that everyone, you know, is a coach of your own in football. Everyone knows something about it and everyone wants to talk to players about what to do, especially in technical and administrative, you know, areas. But I always tell players, listen to a few, you know, people who you can trust in terms of technical advice. Listen to people administratively who, you know, you can trust, who are at a very good level, you know, you know, by reputation or by, by, by position, you know, so these are people who can help you, not just anybody, you know, from anywhere. So it's, it's hard work, hard work, commitment, dedication, because every day you have to fight. Like you know, this 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 the Champions League final, the last game of your life you're gonna play. So you got to do your best, because this way you can you, know, you can unleash the best out of yourself, and you can help your club, you can help your country, but ultimately your own self and your family, because this is going to contribute also. You know, in the economy of, of the country, because when you fly out there, you, you play, play professional football, you make money, the investment comes back to the country. So even the country and the government, everyone wins. Yeah. Thank you.